James 1 12. James chapter 1 verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. There is a crown of life that is given to those who overcome or endure temptation. And church, you will be tempted. You will be tempted. Your faith will be tested. Your love for God will be tested. Your commitment to God and his house will be tested. Everything about you and I will be tested. But the Bible said those who endure or those who overcome temptation shall be given the crown of what? Life. A crown of what? Life. So there is a crown of life, but it's not for everybody. It's for those who endure temptation. So those who don't endure temptation will not receive the crown of life. I know some of you believe you will go to heaven and you don't care whether you receive a crown of no, a crown of anything. You just want to be in heaven. Don't fool yourself. When you get there, you will see the necessity and the need of the crown of life. When you see others wearing their crowns, you will wish you had one. And as we go on, I will show you why you need a crown. Because we will reign. We will reign in this life. We will control nations. People don't understand heaven. Heaven is not like a one big place. Heaven is a place with many nations within. And when we come back for a thousand years to reign on this earth, some will control different, different, different nations. Jesus will be in Jerusalem. And every year we will all go there to worship. And upon that city and nation that will not go, there shall be no rain. We'll gather, you see. I used to teach all these things 30 years ago. We need to get back to the basics so we don't just live anyway, anyhow. Go ahead. Which the Lord has promised to them that love him. You see? So this crown of life is for those who endure temptation, number one, and number two, those who love him. That means your love for God will be tested. The Bible says, I have not seen nor ears heard. Neither had entered the hearts of those men the things that God has prepared for those who love him. Hear me? That scripture is not just about breakthroughs here. It's not about material things here. Your dream car, having a good house, it's all great. And you can, you can even have a private jet and 310 private jet. It doesn't bother me. As long as you have eternity in mind, I don't care. Have everything you want. But that scripture is not talking about material things here. It's talking about things that God has prepared for those who love him hereafter. And there is not, no blessing. There is no blessing you and I will obtain or get in this life that can be compared to the things that God has prepared for us hereafter. Somebody put your hands together, shout yes. But the key here is loving God no matter what. I hear people say that all things shall work together for my good. All things shall work together for my good. All things shall work together for my good. It's not true. All things don't work together for your good. All things work together for the good of them that love God. And are called according to his purpose. So our love for God will be tested. Goodness. You talk about our love for God being tested. My love for God is tested every day. And every day I have to make up my mind. And to be determined to overcome. And to endure trials. If I have my way, I will do some things. But the love of God restraineth me. If I have my way, I will live some kind of life. But I can't because of the love of God. And the Bible says, what shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation or distress or famine or persecution or peril. He said, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are carried to the slaughter as sheep. Nay, in all these things, we are more than a conqueror 
through him who loved us and gave himself unto us. And I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor depths, nor height, nor things present, nor things to come can separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Somebody put your hands together, shout yes.